Hello, in this video we'll talk about creating SAP HANA 1 instance on Amazon Web Services also known as AWS. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. Navigate to aws.amazon.com using your browser and log in to the website by filling out the sign in form. Next you will see a page displaying the list of services offered by Amazon. You need to click on EC2. I have explained in the previous video what EC2 is. It stands for Elastic Compute Cloud and it's one of the s different services offered by Amazon Web Services. It allows you to launch instances with variety of operating systems like Windows and Linux and these instances are scalable in a matter of minutes in terms of CPU resources, memory, disk space, etc. Next you will see EC2 dashboard and from here you need to click on instances option that you see on the left side under instances section. Here I see the message that I do not have any running instances and you see this button launch instance click on that button. There are multiple ways of launching an instance I'm gonna stick to the classic wizard and I'm gonna click on the continue button that you see on the lower right side. There are tons of instances that are offered by AWS and I'm interested in the SAP HANA 1 instance. So I'm gonna take use of this fourth tab here AWS Marketplace and I see this search field here I'm going to enter SAP HANA 1 and click on the Go button. A new tab is going to be opened and on that tab you can see information on SAP HANA 1 on Suzy Linux. There is a credit promotion going on right now but I'm sure this is temporary. And here you can see the charges on hourly basis for using this instance. Some other nominal charges will be applied and you can see the true cost in next few pages. There are no surprises on AWS. You exactly see what you will be built and you can stop your instance to incur ongoing charges so that way you can control the cost and you only bring your instance up when you want to use it. So it's pretty reasonable price. I'm going to click on SAP HANA 1 on Suzy. On this page you can see more information on this instance. You can scroll down to read all the contents of this page. What we need to do at this point is verify the region. The region pick list will display the appropriate value automatically. Amazon Web Services have multiple data centers and the data center that should be selected by default is the one that is nearest to you otherwise you can change it if you like but typically you should need to okay so I am on east side of North America so that's why I see east here and next important thing to note is the total hourly cost okay so this is the hourly cost you will be paying to use SAP HANA 1 which is pretty reasonable and once you are done using the instance you should bring it down to prevent incurring of the ongoing cost. I'm gonna click on the continue button. On the next page you will see some more information. Now take a look at this monthly estimate section. Let this number not scare you okay because this is only if you let this instance running 24 by 7 for the next 30 days otherwise you will only incur three dollars fifty cents per hour which is very reasonable and you should bring the instance down okay so this is the cost if you do not bring it down and you keep it running so there will not be any surprise you will not incur anything more than this and on the same page on the left side you will see the version number so this is the revision 
that you're getting for SAP HANA 1 revision 48 this is the released date on the same page if you scroll down you will see a section called key pair if you expand that you will see an option of creating a key pair but the question is we have already created a key pair in the previous video it should have automatically be picked up by this screen and it should be displaying here because the whole purpose of creating the key pair was that we should be in a position to attach that to the instances we are creating now let's click on this uh, link here visit the Amazon EC2 console to create a new key pair so this is the window that lets you create a key pair but the question is where is the key pair we created so let me show you what happened okay so we don't see any key pairs here okay if I scroll to the right you see my name and here is the region because key pairs are specific to the regions to the data centers that uh, we we choose to use for the instances that we are launching okay so for m for for me the closest data center is as I picked up was East US East Virginia okay and in that data center in that region I haven't created any key pair so where is the key pair that I created must be somewhere else so here it is so the key pair I created was in Oregon so if you see the same issue that will be the case so that's okay I'm gonna go back to my region which is east and just create a new key pair here and I'm gonna use that to make connections to the instances that I'm gonna rent on this data center so click on the key pair and give it a name I'm gonna call it my keys and click on the create button so I clicked on the create button to create the key pair now I'm going to click on close so now I have keys in North Virginia section as well as Oregon section but I'm going to be using only North Virginia so let's go back to the tab where we were creating the SAP one instance and I can just do a refresh and now you can see my keys are picked up in the key pair section you will not face this issue if you have created key pairs in the right region okay whenever you create a key pair private keys are downloaded to your machine and public keys are capped with Amazon so public keys are used to encrypt the login information and only private keys could be used to decrypt the information so the private key is as good as the login information if you share this private key with anyone they would be able to log into your machines no matter it's Linux or Windows now so this is the previous keys that I downloaded and this is the new one so I'm using Chrome so this is how the download appears PEM is the file containing the private key information but if you're using a different browser or different operating system the download will happen differently but download will happen later on we will talk about how to use this PEM file to make connections to the Linux and Windows machines okay so it's time to move forward and you must click on this end user license agreement and AWS customer agreement and click on accept terms and launch with one click you will see this message you are being subscribed to the software please do not close the window so you will have to wait until this step is completed my subscription is completed now step 2 is being performed which is beginning deployment next you will see this screen an instance of this software is now deploying on EC2 make sure you turn off the instance when you're not using it to avoid extra charges you'll receive an email once the deployment is ready you can check the progress by going into this AWS management console now it's time to take a look at 
the status of the instance so I can click on AWS management console link here here you can see our instance the state is running you may not see the state running until few minutes it may say pending eventually it will say running now it's time to give your instance a name so I can click on this pencil here click to edit and let me call this my SAP HANA 1 click on the save button